everybody. It's the assembly member Clyde Vanell, and I'm happy to be here today at the estate of the first African American female millionaire, Madame C.J. Walker. And we're here in Irvington, New York. We get a chance to tour the house uh, and see different things. And we also get a chance to meet uh, the owner of the house, uh, Harold Doley, and find out about him to talk about wealth and other things. Check it out. Sarah Breedlove, also known as Madame C.J. Walker, was an African-American entrepreneur, philanthropist, and political and social activist. She's known as the first female self-made millionaire in America. She became one of the wealthiest African-American women in the country and the world's most successful female entrepreneur of her time. She made her fortune by developing and marketing a line of beauty and hair products for black women from her company. She made financial donations in numerous organizations and became a patron of the arts. Her estate, Villa Larrero, was a lavish estate on Irvington on the Hudson in New York and it served as a social and gathering place for the community. There are very few things that uh, you can truly be a part of history and owning this house is uh, a part of history. Uh, Madam and her uh, legacy uh, is, is important uh, and it was worth preserving. But this home, as Madam built it, was to be shared by the community and the African-American community, the um, uh, female community, the, the business community, um, America at large. Um, in 1973, uh, at the age of 26, I purchased uh, my seat on the New York Stock Exchange. During the length of time that there were seats, uh, I'm the only African-American that I owned my own seat. I was 13, which was uh, the summer of 1960. Uh, my family, I'm from New Orleans originally. We came to New York, uh, we visited uh, the New York Stock, well, we visited Wall Street and um, uh, that uh, fall was the uh, presidential race uh, between Kennedy and Nixon. And uh, Kennedy's father and father-in-law were members of uh, the New York Stock Exchange. And I said, uh, this is where money and power come together. And I said, uh, uh, I wanted to be a member and 13 years later I bought a seat. The high black unemployment because we don't have black businesses. Hiring of employees is based on primarily in America small businesses and if you don't have small black businesses which employ black people uh, you will continue to decline. If you're in corporate America, or if you're in retail America, uh, uh, what have you, you um, want to own uh, a part of America. You, you, you have to be an owner uh, to have any kind of wealth. Uh, an employee is an employee. I mean, uh, but if you or an employee with a stock uh, incentive program. You're an, um, an employee where you can um, participate uh, in a stock pro purchase program. You have to uh, do that uh, for, uh, for the long term. 